Hey, how you doing? Uh, glad you could stop by. Uh, I'm just cleaning up for the winter. Um, and I want to show you my Alpacool C15 fridge freezer. Um, it's okay. Um, and so we'll take a look at that. And I'll show you some of the things I did to it. And I'll talk to you about it in a while. Okay, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is my Alpacool C15. And uh, right here is insulation that I made for it. And right now, 12.8 vol uh, volts. That's not bad considering it's dark out and I've had the lights on for quite a bit. And it's got a UPS port there. And the refrigerator uses about 2. Point, maybe 5 amps an hour, which isn't bad. A um, few things I don't like about it. One is insulation. It's not insulated very well. That's why I made this insulation right here. Uh, let me see if I can get this out of the way. Um, this out of the way here a little bit. Okay. Um, it's about, that's about two inches, a little bit more than two inches thick there, half inch along the sides. I tried to make it as shape as tight as I can to the refrigerator, and as you can tell here, I have a gasket right along here, and it goes down along the side, and along here too, you can't see it. And um, I could have went the whole route, but the thing is, let's move this here. It has a vent on the side right here, and on the you know over here and on the other side. So you needed ventilation, and plus this cover here and here gets warm. So that's why I didn't put um, put the light back. That's why I didn't put any insulation there. Um, so that helps quite a bit. Uh, like I said, insulation is not good in this thing at all. In freezer mode. With this cupboard, it gets condensation. Unbelievable. And let's open that up. And there ain't much room. My mistake was buying it too small. Uh, because you can't take this bottle here and stand it up because it's too high. Can't close the cover. If I got a C20, then the cover here is raised. But then you can't insulate it very well because it's raised up, you know, yay high. And so that's um problem with that. And um, the um, digital readout's not quite accurate. Right now it's not too bad because it's cold out. And so it's pretty close to where it should be. But it, it fluctuates between 5 degrees. I tried for, I don't know, for weeks testing this on different temperatures and trying to get it the right setting. I think I got it right where I want it. And if you put it in freezer mode, it's not good. It runs so much. Uh, even if you have it on on uh, eco mode, if you can see that. You have that on that, it still runs a lot. I mean, it's running more than it's off and it's not worth it. Um, otherwise, it's not bad. I mean, it runs good, it's quiet. And, uh, you know, except for the couple of flaws there, it's not a bad refrigerator. Uh, I paid about 130 for it, and that's why I bought it. And with the insulation, this, this here, it doesn't quite seat on the sides here. As you can see, I'll use my foot. You have it, it goes in. You can't really see that, but it goes in because... The sides are not, you know, they, they, whoops, they curve in. Get my light up here again. They, they go in, you know, like, you know, at an angle. So, what I did here is, as you see, right along, right there, and right there, a little piece of styrofoam that, either taped or glued on there. So when I push the refrigerator in there, it squeezes it squeezes the sides so they're so they're tight. 
you know, on both sides. And I got this size refrigerator because it fits. Let's see if I can move this light. Because it fits. I'll get it in here and I take it's a tight squeeze. And it goes right in here. Okay. Ah, there we go. As you can see, let me move this light because it's screwing things up here. And it fits right in there nice and neat. Um, I could get a bigger one, but I had the height. I had the I had the height here, but I don't have the width. Because if I bought another one, it would have to be insulated better because you know it just saves energy, that's all. So I'd have to cut this box, which I already did, in a loose storage. And so that's my predicament on that one. So I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, okay. This is my second take on this video. So the first one, I screwed it up. Um, I'm thinking about getting a bigger fridge. I could put it in here, okay? I can get a, you guys saying, what's he doing putting it there for? I won't be able to get in and out. Well, let me explain. I can get like a C C50 or bigger and put it in here. And if I need to, latch it down. So I can move it from there over here, you know what I mean? And then just tuck it over here because then when this door is closed, you got all that space. You got all the space that's all wasted in here. Um, that's one. But then the the um, the core that goes to it would have to be running across here or across the floor. And I'd probably, you know, trip over. I was thinking of putting it right here in the wall okay I could take it and slide it this way I need a room slide it right in there make it flush with the wall and then you're probably saying well how are you gonna do that if the seats there I take the passenger seat out and then just get slides and put it on slides and build you know build it in and then build a box around it on the inside. And that way it's another another insulation. So it protects it from the heat. And that's one of my things. So I can get a good size refrigerator there. Because I am not going to have passengers. So I don't need a passenger side seat. And so if you have any comments or any suggestions on what to do. Um, let me know. I just... Uh, you know, it's just uh, one of those things, you know, you buy something, you don't realize it. Because, let's see if we can turn around here again. If I raise the bed up, okay, let's see. Lighting, that's okay. If I raise the bed up any higher, then I'm going to lose head space from here to here. Because that's almost six feet. But then when you get the walls... And insulation then you're losing a lot of space and the higher I go up you know, like you know of course I lose head space so uh, I mean I could go bigger like I said and put a bigger fridge in here but then the sides gonna be cut and then you have to insulate so I'm not sure what I want to do yet um but I won't, that won't be done for a while because I'm still paying for my batteries and so Refrigerator will probably come this summer, uh, maybe. Uh, like I said, the the only couple of problems with the refrigerator is the digital gauge doesn't read right for temperature. It fluctuates between five degrees, and um, so you have to play with it to figure out where you want it. And um, in freezing mode, like I said, it's not good, not good at all because the outside, outside of it, along the walls where the coils are, freezes, but then in the middle does not freeze very well and so if you have any food in there freezing it doesn't freeze i mean so it uses a lot of juice let's see if we can again very very tight fit i didn't i did not allow for that hinge so it's a, it's a tight squeeze um let's see yeah see the walls here it um the coils are all along here and so when you're putting food in here or anything, the outside edges freeze. Everything freezes, but 
but then it's got to take time to go from this one to this one to this one to right to the middle. And I put meat in there before, and the meat did not freeze solid. And so, um, so that's the problem with that. But otherwise, okay. So, all right, I'll talk to you later. And uh, stay safe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. All right, bye.